Hello everyone I hope you must doing well So in this video we are going to learn about the mirror modifier right mirror modifier is a simple modifier we can say but uh, there are things to understand so we will cover all the things in this video right so before proceeding with the complex thing let's take a simple example so that you have a concept right uh, what is the mirror modifier all right so currently we are in a modifier property and under the add modifier there are different modifiers right and under the generate there is a modifier that is called the mirror modifier all right so for example uh, this is a cube right and we can extend uh, the face in the z direction for now okay just it is a example all right and uh, let's take a uv sphere by pressing one you get back into the front mode the front view okay so this is there okay and the shading which i am currently are in the mat cap i am using and this one and using the random color and under the viewport we set to black right so that we have more nicer viewport okay so what we want we want the this sphere should be mirror to this side right and the distance which it is over here that should be same and that is called the mirror modifier okay so by selecting with this sphere we needed to go into the add modifier and under this there is option of mirror okay uh, uh, we can see uh, nothing is happen all right so what we can do uh, there is a option of mirror object right so under that we are having uh, currently we are having only uh, one cube but uh, when you are having multiple scene multiple object in your a uh, viewport then probably you will get miss about where uh, which object i should select all right so for that you are having a dropper option over here okay so that you can click over it and uh, you can select any object by which you want that this object should be mirrored right so by clicking on this object we can see uh the sphere is mirrored to the other side why it is mirrored on this side only because uh, the axis is selected to x and the x axis is determined by the red color so that's why it is mirrored over here for example if we put a uh, axis with z right we can see uh, it is mirrored over here why it is mirrored in this direction because uh, under the overlay we are having axis we can have the z axis okay so it is visible okay this one so uh, when we get selected with the z axis right the object is mirrored in a z axis and when we selected with the x the object is mirrored in the x direction all right so this is a simple one of how you can use the mirror modifier but there is also a various option like the clipping right so how you can use that okay so let's uh, delete all these so control a or you can simply press a in your keyboard x and delete right we can hide the z axis before now you can hide the uh, x and y axis also if you want but uh, let's keep that so for now let's add a plane right increase the size and rotate it in a x direction by 90 degree right you can take any example but whatever i am explaining uh, please watch that you will get uh, the thing which i want to tell and in the edit mode uh, we can select this face and right click and we can subdivide okay by clicking on subdivide we are having this option right you don't need to click anywhere 
If you clicked anywhere, this option will get disappear at the window which is over here. Okay, so under the number of cuts you are having one, so you can increase this one. You can increase by 10. Alright. Yeah. So currently we are having 10 number of subdivision. We can count also. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. So 5 number of faces we are having over here. Alright. And the 5 number of faces we are having here also. Right. The row or column. Alright. So this is the center of our face. So for now what we can do. A control R we can make a loop cut over here. So that uh, these two area get divided equally. Alright. And we can delete this part. So that we can make the use of mirror modifier. Alright. So how you can delete the, this part. So currently we are again in the edit mode. Uh, we can select these faces. Okay. By holding the control, control button in your keyboard, uh, you will get selected with the whole loop and you get also selected with this loop also but now we needed this loop, right? Uh, why we get selected sometime with this thing? Why we get selected sometime with this thing? Uh, it is because uh, the mouse, you can see the mouse where the pointer is hovering, uh, it is over here. That's why it is selecting uh, this loop right but if the mouse pointer I, if I place over here right it is selecting this loop the direction I'm talking about all right so we can have selected with this loop we can press C in our keyboard so that we can enable the circular selection we can click and drag to select the whole faces all right and to get rid of that uh, circular selection, you needed to press right click in your mouse. Alright. And we can press X. Right. By pressing X, you are having different option. And the option which we are going to use that is face. And the result is uh, whatever face we are selected with, uh, those faces will get deleted. Alright. So we are having this one. Yeah, so now we needed to add a mirror modifier. So by selecting this object under the modifier, there is a mirror modifier and here we are. But the issue is why it is a huge gap is there in between. All right. Although uh, the mirror modifier is working, right? For example, whenever we are going to change anything in this mesh, the primary mesh we are having right over here and the mirror mesh it is over here okay you can check by this option also okay yeah so whatever changes we are making over here it is affecting in the mirror side right so the thing is the mirror modifier is working but the issue is why the uh, this gap is there so for that we needed to control Z so that we can get rid of all those things which we created the shape right so why we are having uh, this gap between it is because if you watch my video of 3d cursor and the origin right? if you haven't watched that video please watch that because it is going to help you out here right if you didn't watch please watch that uh, I can explain here also so you can watch this part also yeah so the thing is for now we can delete this mirror modifier okay and uh, here if you needed to look over here all right yeah so uh, in the area over here there are two things the first thing is the 3d cursor the icon of 3d cursor is over here also right and the another thing which is over here the origin point that is represented by the orange dot so you can see by uh, let's change the location of 3d cursor so currently we are having the 3d cursor over here and the origin of this object is over here and the reason why whenever we are 
making the mirror modifier right it is mirroring the object from this point right so the solution is we needed to change this location over here right so that uh, the mirror modifier should mirror this object from this side from this edge right so there should not be any gap in between all right so how we can or how we should change the location of this uh, origin yeah so for that we needed to take the help of the 3d cursor right it is 3d cursor and this is the origin of this object right so again in the edit mode you needed to select the whole edge by holding the alt right you are selected with the whole edge or you can simply uh, drag so that you get selected with the whole edge and for now what we can do shift s in your keyboard and cursor to select it what is cursor the cursor is over here we and we want the cursor should be over here at the center of this edge right so you can select the whole edge or you can press con uh, you can hold alt in your keyboard and click on the edge you will get selected with the whole edge loop right shift s in your keyboard you are having different option and the option which we are going to use that is cursor to select it which determines the cursor will move at that location the where you selected with the edge vertex or face right so cut a cursor to selected and the cursor which is over here uh, was it is over here okay and by the help of this 3d cursor we can change the location of this origin right so for that we needed to get back into the object mode you can press tab also right so what we want right now we want this origin should be over here right we already placed the cursor over here and the time is we needed to place the cursor sorry the origin over here so by selecting the object right and under the object drop down we are having different option and we are having one option of set origin right and uh, under the set origin there there is different drop down option and the option which we are going to use that is origin to 3d cursor okay which determines the origin should move the location where the 3d cursor is right the, and the 3d cursor is over here all right so object set origin and origin to 3d cursor right so before the origin is over here but now the origin is over here and whenever we are going to add the mirror modifier it will mirror from this location so now let's have a mirror modifier yeah you can see uh, it is working from the center okay so everything is fine but uh, one more thing is there which is remaining okay so let's get back into the edit mode and whenever because uh, this is a edge where uh, the mirror modifier is connecting the mirror of this object right and if we are going to move this edge in an edit mode with the vertex selection right we can see uh, these vertex are, are not joined with each other although uh, these areas are joined because they are separated naturally right and why it is happening it is because yeah so why it is happening because there is an option of clipping right when we are having our clipping on we can see uh, wherever the two objects are connecting those vertex are connected connected with each other all right and now uh, it is working fine but one more issue is there for example whatever as we are currently in a edge mode sorry in the uh, sorry the in the vertex mode and uh, we can see the vertex over here but we cannot see the vertex over here 
so why it is there so so to see that you are having a option over here the cage option right so it is now disable so you you needed to click on it right when you are having this option on in edit mode you can see right the vertex is also visible over here okay so you so you can select here also right so it is whatever selection you are making over over here the same selection it is showing over here also right and uh, for now uh, so one more tip i want to give before ending this video as whatever shape you want right for example this shape you want right and uh, probably you applied this modifier right so to apply the mod modifier you needed to go into the drop down and there is an option of apply right so you can apply in that in that way also and there is a shortcut key also you needed to hover a mouse over the modifier and control a right so it will get applied so when the mirror modifier is going to apply it then whatever the effect you can see that it is not affecting on other side okay so always remember when you are having the mirror modifier in the modifier panel okay so whatever changes or whatever shape you want uh, please please uh, do that and because after applying the mirror modifier you cannot have that effect right for example whatever changes you are making this side that is also visible to this side also okay so i hope you got the point and we can apply the mirror modifier also but we needed to apply the mirror modifier and we can keep the mirror modifier also why we need needed to apply the mirror modifier because when you are dealing with the animation or when you are de de dealing with a different modifier or anything right so in that way you needed to apply the modifier the mirror modifier because the mirror modifier is working on the basis of origin right if the origin will get changed right the mirror modifier will get affected all right so whenever you are dealing with animation or any type of motion right so in that way you needed to apply the mirror modifier but if you not dealing with any animation part and you want to keep the mirror modifier and you don't want to apply the mirror modifier then you can keep the mirror modifier over here okay and i hope you got the point and there are different option also that is for the uv mirroring right so uh, we are not on the that stage to discuss those right but we will discuss those when we are having some lecture or video series on the uv unwrapping all right and for now this is for this video and again anything from your, your side which i should know you can say in a comment section and uh, bye bye take care